You will need lightweight yarn. I use Alize Diva Silky Effect. It's 350 meters in 100 grams. And it's 100% acrylic. I use four colors. You also need two millimeter crochet hook, stitch marker and scissors. Start with blue color. Make slip knot and chain 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Single crochet in second chain from hook and the next ten chains. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten. Last single, last chain is left, and make five single crochet in this last chain. One, two, three, four, and five. Work on the opposite side and single crochet in each chain until you reach the end one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and last eleven. So you have eleven single crochet, five single crochet here, and eleven single crochet here. From now and on, single crochet in back loops, chain one and turn. These are back loops and these are front loops. Single crochet in back loops in next 13. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And thirteen. Make three single crochet in next stitch. One, two, and three. Mark middle uh, stitch from these three single crochet with stitch marker. And single crochet in next 13 until you reach the end.
next row chain one turn single crochet in each single crochet until you reach this stitch marker it's central stitch work only in back loops Make three single crochet in this stitch. One, two, and three. And again, mark central stitch from these three single crochet. And single crochet in each single crochet until you reach the end next row chain one turn single crochet until you reach central stitch which is here It's middle stitch from three single crochet you make in one single crochet. And again make Three single crochet in this single crochet. One, two, three. You can mark this middle stitch, but I don't need it. And single crochet in each single crochet until you reach the end. Here I change color in next row. Don't finish last stitch. Join another color. Like this. chain one turn and continue with yellow color single crochet in each single crochet until you reach central stitch make three single crochet in central stitch and single crochet in each single crochet until you reach the end and repeat these sections Here is central stitch. I, am, I make three single crochet in this stitch and single crochet in each single crochet until it reach the end. Always work in back loops. Next row I will also make with yellow. Eight. 
and then I will switch again to blue color. Three single crochet central stitch and each single crochet in each single crochet until you reach the end. Don't finish last single crochet and change color to blue, like this. And continue with blue color and make same actions. And so on. Last row, row, last row, single chain one, turn and single crochet in each single crochet. Don't make increase in this stitch, just single crochet around until you reach this. Now single crochet along this edge. Make one chain one and make one single crochet in each row. Chain one, turn, and single crochet in back loops along this lower edge until you reach here.
and so on. Next row. Chain one, turn, and single crochet in both, both loops until you reach here. Last row, chain one, turn and repeat previous row, single crochet in each single crochet until you reach this end here. Single crochet here. Now I'm going to join this side with this front loops which were left when I crochet in back loops. Chain one turn and insert hook in back loop here and in front loop here and slip stitch repeat same actions until you reach the end back loop and in front loop and slip stitch and so on until you reach this end. Now I will make three cords. One will be 46 inches and two will be uh, 19 inches long. I put uh, two colors together here and two colors together here. Make slip knot insert hook now take another colors and put it on the hook like this and with first color draw up a loop now put this long second color over the hook and with second with first color draw up a loop put this over the hook and draw up a loop and so on it's very easy I'll speed up a little bit. And continue so on until you reach 75, uh, no, 46 inches. I made long enough cord and I will finish this with I will draw up a loop with both yarns and we'll cut this here. Now I will take both pieces I made, one and two.
and I'm going to put this cord into this hole. For that I will use a pin. Attach pin to this cord and put it into this hole. I made two cords 19 inches long and I will attach them to these tops here and here. Insert hook in the top and attach yarn. And make a knot. And now hide this ends in this cord, inside this cord.